Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast uh, and uh, the problem reads the simple band break is constructed so that the ends of uh, the friction strap are connected to a pin to the pin at A and the lever arm at B. If the wheel is subjected to a torque of uh, M equal to 80 pounds feet and the minimum force of P equal to 20 pounds is needed to apply to the lever to hold the wheel stationary Determine the coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the band. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have a wheel and um, a band, a simple band break <coughs> around the wheel, which is connected at, it goes around the wheel, then connected at A and B. And uh, we have been asked to determine the coefficient of uh, static uh, friction between the wheel and the, ba uh, and the band, uh, which will enable the wheel itself to be stationary once a minimum force of P equal to 20 pounds is applied as shown, okay, by this particular hand here, right. So first things first, we need to draw a free body diagram. Uh, so we have this particular beam, uh, beam A, B, to the point where P is applied. And we have this rotating uh, wheel. So let's start with the beam. Uh, there we go, something like this. At A, we expect reaction force ay ax and we also have part of this simple band okay in this direction like this okay which i'm going to call ta and it is at an angle 20 degrees okay At an, at an angle 20 degrees with uh, the vertical axis right and then <clears throat> we have point b point b somewhere here point b we have uh, the same band on the other side after it has gone round the wheel and uh, let's call it tb and it is at an angle 45 degrees all right then we have this point here where we have a force okay applied perpendicular to this structure we are calling it p and we've been told the minimum force that has been applied so far is 20 pounds and of course dimensions are given as follows okay let me just indicate them they are given as follows. Uh, we have 1.5 uh, feet. Then we have 3 feet there. So we are going to take moments about point A. So that we find what this B is. So B will have components. We are going to have one component like so there. This one you are calling it B. B sign 45. And then this one, B cos 45. Okay. There we go. So we'll say summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. So what we have, we have a 20 that is going to give us and clockwise which is a negative moment times the lever arm 4.5 plus um tb uh sine 45 times the lever arm which is 1.5 equal to zero making tb subject to the formula tb is going to be equal to 84.85 Two eight pounds. 
right so we found what tb is so what we need to do now is to find what ta is so since uh, uh t ta is uh or the the band itself goes around the disc so we are going to use this particular rotating wheel okay so that we just take moments we find what this uh ta is so let me draw this i draw it here okay let me draw it here it will not be that very big just something like this okay let's call this point o we have the moment m equal to 80 pounds feet okay let me write it so that i have some space so this one this moment is 80 pounds feet okay this one is just point o as our reference then we have a band here we go is in contact with this wheel we have a band at this point there this band we are calling it ta and this angle here this angle here of course is a 20 degrees okay this angle there this angle there is a 20 degrees okay and then we have this cable still goes round okay up to somewhere there okay and this one there is tb and this angle there this angle there it is 45 degrees but these angles won't matter for now then we have the radius the radius of this wheel is 1.25 okay the radius of this wheel is 1.25 that is the radius of this wheel so we have the moment and then this tb we've already calculated it this tb is equal to 84.8528 so we are going to take moments about the very center there so that we find what ta is so we'll say summation of moments about point o equal to zero and clockwise being our reference right so if we take moments about the center there what we have we have 80 itself is anti-clockwise there we go and then we do have ta which is also giving us anti-clockwise ta times the lever arm which is just the radius is 1.25 minus tb okay by 1.25 equal to zero we know what tb is so just replacing tb in there we replace it there once we do that and then we make ta subject of formula ta will be equal to okay so we have uh, we have uh, 84.8528 times 1.25 mm -hmm. this is a minus the 80 there divided by 1.25 so ta therefore is going to be equal to a 20 point eight five two eight pounds right <clears throat> we found what ta is so what we, we need to do now what we need to do let me just create this boundary we found ta so now we will need to use this particular equation which is equal to the equation is 2t uh, t2 is equal to t1 e 
which is the base to the natural log to the power mu times beta all right so now the question is which of the two ta and tb because here we know that ta is supposed to be greater than t1 so this would be one criteria okay so which one do we take is uh, we found that tb is equal to let me write it down here 84.85 Two eight and T T A is equal to uh, twenty point eight five two eight, right? Yes. So which of the two T A and T B? Which one is T two? Which one is T uh, T one? Uh, of course. See, eh? so one of the criteria would be to check the two. Which one is bigger? And we know that T two is always greater than T one. So we already know there that T2 is uh, the bigger one while T1 is uh, the smaller one. And the other way again to understand this other than this, of course this is one criteria. The other way would be to look at the relative motion, right? The previous problems that we've been looking at were uh, the contacting surface itself was stationary while it was the rope that was about to move okay in this particular case the cable is stationary while uh, the disc is the one that is moving but if we apply the principle of relative motion would say if the disc is moving and clockwise like so okay or if we are to make the disc stationary all right then would say it is cable uh, TB or tension TB that tends to pull on TA, right? It is TB that tends to pull on TA, and to support that, we apply a force at TA. That is another way. I don't know whether you are getting it, anyways. So, if you looked at relative motion here, still things make sense. So, let's use this criteria here where we say T2 should be greater than T1. Therefore, we know that our T2 is uh, Tb, while our T, so let me write down. So we know that Tb is equal to T2, while Ta is equal to T1, okay? So fitting all that into our equation, we'll have 84.8528 uh, equal to uh, 20 equal to 20.8528 e to the power uh, before i write this let's 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 find out what our values are we need to find uh, beta okay what is beta in degrees beta is equal to 20 degrees plus 45 okay this whole lot of this this is what we are getting this is where the cable is in contact with this area here the angle this angle here for this okay this is what we are getting right now so 45 plus uh, 180 which gives us a 245 right 245 mm-hmm so 20 plus 45 plus 180 245 okay degrees so we need to convert that to we convert that to so we know that 2 pi is equal to uh 360 degrees here yeah, for 245 what will it give us beta so if we just did the cross multiply okay we'll find that our beta will be equal to 2 pi by 245 divided by uh, 360 which later on turns out to be equal to a one point okay a one point uh, three six one one pi okay 
So there we go. Let's fit everything in there now. E to the power uh, mu. This is what we are looking for. Times one point uh, three six one one pi, like so. Okay. So let's work out this problem. So what we are going to do is we are going to use lean. So we we'll say eighty four. We we'll lean both sides. Eighty four. Since this is a natural log, E is natural log, base of natural log, 84.85 divided by 20.8528. We lean it this side, equal to uh, lean of E uh, mu. That one will multiply, so it will be 1.8528. 3611 pi mu, like so. If we did so, then this becomes, we know what it will become, right? 84.85 when you lean divided by 20.8528, which is equal to, this can move, you know that principle, right? This pi mu mu. Then lean E, and lean E is 1. So making mu subject to the formula, we get, so I have 84.8528 divided by 20.8528, lean of that, and then divided by 1.3611 pi. All right, so we have mu equal to 0 0.3281 okay all right I think I'll leave it like that therefore our mu will leave it to four decimal places is equal to 0 point3 you don't have to do this you can just write it to decimal places like so okay so this is uh, our final solution. So this is the um, this is uh, the coefficient of uh, friction uh, between the wheel and uh, the band when the force of uh, p equal to twenty pounds is applied to bring uh, the rotating wheel to a stationary position. All right, I hope uh, the video was helpful, and if it was. Give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.